But this is the star of the show, Peruvian fried chicken with Peruvian crema. Cooking with the Cernas. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I am cooking Peruvian fried chicken. Let's get to it. Now I have my pan with vegetable oil just heating up. I'm gonna get this nice and hot in my little bowl. That cute, right? Paprika, oregano, cumin, pepper, garlic, and salt. I'm gonna add my olive oil and honey. Let me see a thumbs up if you guys love the Peruvian dishes. Okay, so now I have my unthawed chicken legs and I'm just gonna add them to this bowl and mix it all up. Oh, but first, one other little trick that Louis's abuela taught me was to cut the chicken down to the bone when it's frying, it'll cook more evenly. Can you see it? Mix, baby, mix, mix, baby, mix. So now this is ready to go into the frying pan. Okay, guys, now this is where you have to be very careful because this oil is hot, 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 hot. I could feel the heat from here, hot. Why well, I went to Dollar Tree, I got these cute little lemon oven mitts. See, hot. And I'm just gonna use the lid kind of like a little shield. The key with frying chicken, and I don't do it often, but I learned my lesson when I was a child, do not throw it in the pan. That's a no-go, honey. I'm gonna turn it down. It's already starting to fry up beautifully. Look at that. I actually need to turn this. It's getting the color of everything. Ooh, it smells so good already. I wanna make sure it cooks all the way through the middle. But you can see already, like it's perfect color. It looks like it was on the grill. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, so I'm gonna clean this up and start prepping my sauce. You're gonna use spinach leaves, cilantro, sour cream, jalapenos. If you don't like spicy, you can skip jalapeno. Garlic, and you're gonna need two tablespoons of fresh lime. I got this lime press from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna put it in this bowl and then measure it out. Works good, right? For one dollar, not bad, not bad. Well, if you have the concentrate, you can use that, but there's nothing like fresh lime. That looks like it's maybe one tablespoon. So it might be two. I'm gonna use my Ninja. I'm gonna put my leaves in. Oh, perfect. Each half is one tablespoon. Good to know. I'm getting some more of my Dollar Tree kitchen utensils. That smells so good. I wish you guys could smell. So it should look like this once it's all mixed up. I'm just gonna mix this together. Hmm. It's not really giving me that saucy consistency, so I am gonna pop it in the Ninja. It's giving me more dip. Dip's cool, but that's not what we came for. We want crema sauce. There we go. And now it's that nice, beautiful green color. That's what we came for. I love this Dollar Tree spatula because it gets every drop. Just gonna pop this in the fridge. I'm just waiting on my rice and I'm just doing black beans to pair it with. So my chicken is done. So you can see it cooked all the way down to the bone. That's why we cut it. And if you don't like your chicken to be this charred, I guess, then just take it out sooner. So you can see that it is Fully cooked, cooked thoroughly, heavily, heavily melanated. So I'm just gonna let this sit to the side, let the oil drip off of it. Okay guys, so this is dinner. I have the Peruvian fried chicken with the crema. I have some black beans. Also use some of the homemade sofrito and some white rice. So I'm just gonna set the table. I'm gonna use my new Dollar Tree plates. Alexa, announce dinner. It sounds like a My Little Pony character. You saw it? You saw it? This one? That a bruh? The boosty egg. Alright, I feel like Selena's. Oh, look at it! I think she looks cute. The boosta nada. It is a bralette. Okay. You have lemon napkins. I do. Should I have used them? 
Or is that doing too much? That's doing mm. too much. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this we're about to eat. Thank you for allowing us for being together, Lord. Thank you for another day as a family, Lord. We ask that you continue blessing this family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So today is Restoration Day. Yes. Kaya, why don't you tell everybody what Restoration Day is? Restoration Day is the day that Dad came back into the picture. And it is the day that God restored our relationship and our family dynamic with Daddy. Good job, Kai. So what are we doing for uh, Restoration Day? Well, I wanted to do like a special dinner. So that's why I wanted to make some Peruvian food. And I never made the crema before, so I wanted to try that as well. You got a little more rice. I thought you were making Peruvian food because that was one of like the first real official meals that we had with Daddy. Can you pass the ice tea? We had the Peruvian food with you and um, Grandpa George. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we went to that restaurant. That's true. That's so why I thought you were making the Peruvian food. They had, that, I... they had that pollo a la brasa. Yeah. <laughs> I ate the whole... You guys had the half the chicken each. I ate the whole half chicken. Mm -hmm. But I just, I love Peruvian food. I really do. Like... It's one of my favorite. Baby, you left us high on Oh, yeah, fire. Baby, it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. it so, tell me, what do you think of the crema? Because I added jalapeno. It's so. very delicious. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought about not... It has like a cooling taste, though, for some reason. It tastes cool. Well, that's good. Yeah. Can I just have the rest? Yeah. Go for it. This is my dietary portion. <laughs> this is my dietary portion. <laughs> Wait, this is my portion. And mine. Y'all body that rice, though. Can I finish you? Oh, the crunch. He's got the extra melanin. It doesn't no. taste burnt. It's good. I love how the crema is like over here on her cheeks. It is? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish I cooked more chicken now. I do as well. Mm -hmm. So just a touch base on the restoration day. So there was a little gap between uh, me and Ayasa. A like, little? Uh, About eight years. An eight worth. year gap uh. in our relationship. It was through God and through the church that we came together again as a family. So that's why we call it our restoration day because through God, our family became whole again. It's year four, right? Four yeah, four. you came to convocation in that 2017. Yes. So I have it all so oh, yeah. oh my God. Dad! 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 20, 21, 4. <laughs> We're gonna definitely have a video where Lewis and I, the kids, all sit down and kind of explain. Restoration Day. Yeah, how our family uh, came to be. Because you see us you now, you know, the total package husband, wife, son, daughter, <laughs> dog, gated community. <laughs> <laughs> a gated community with no gate. You so. know. But it wasn't always it's like this, okay? Mm -hmm. It was, let me, I could tell you some things. In yes. fact, we will, we will tell you some things. If this video gets 100 likes, we'll do a restoration explanation video. That's our first like goal ever for this channel. Thanks for tuning in to this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a video. Hey guys, out! out.